Hello people on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your motorcycle horn. Mine on my DR650 was not working. So, and I don't want to go buy a new one for $30. So I went on ahead and fixed it. Anyways, I'll show you how. Today, first off, you want to make sure it's not your switch or a fuse somewhere and make sure you're getting power. So, my horn was mounted right up in here. I unbolted it, unplugged it. See, and I took my two little pl my plug here, took my multimeter, stuck the prongs in, made sure I had voltage by pushing the switch. And I have voltage there, so I can confirm that it's not the bike that's the problem, it is the horn. And then the next step you do, is you take the horn, set you guys right over here, take the horn, and you test for resistance between the two wires because there's a coil, a magnetic coil in there. When you apply po power, it makes a magnetic field. And if you can see, I don't know if you can, I have 1.7 ohms of resistance there. Let's set that up. <laughs> Fine, stay down there. In between my two contacts, I have resistance. So the coil is not burned up and there is continuity. So the next step is, you can take your screwdriver, and on most horns you have an adjustment screw. Some you don't, but most you do. You take this adjustment screw and then adjust the gap in between the contacts in there. And I tried to adjust it, and it didn't fix it. It would kind of work a little bit now and then, kind of wouldn't. And so by getting that adjusted, of course, while applying power, I, it wouldn't work. So I decided that the horn is broken. And you, there's probably dirt in there. So I went ahead and I pulled it apart. Now if you look on here, you can see that there was this little metal lip bent around the outside here. It was taped on there. And I took my screwdriver and I started prying at it and I got it started a little bit. And then I took my vice grips, my electrical pliers here with some nice sharp new teeth and went halfway around to bent it. And then I pulled it apart. And as you can see in here, they're pretty simple. There's a little piece of steel here that is uh, basically pulled on by this coil. When you push your button, that coil creates a magnetic field and pulls this in. And that little wing there pushes on this contact tip and breaks the field and then makes contact again. And so it does that a whole bunch of times really fast and creates vibration, makes a horn. Anyways, as you can see, this screw if you turn it in or out, it will raise or lower this upper contact. So that's how you can get that adjusted and sometimes make it work. Sometimes you get out of adjustment, something will get warm and it'll get a little misshapen. But mine, that wasn't the case. Mine was the case that this gasket here that was in between the two pieces had all shriveled up and water got in here and dirt was in here. So my contacts are dirty. So I took a little piece of sandpaper I'll show you with this gasket here. And I put it right in between the two contacts and I sanded them, cleaned them up. So I cleaned them up all real nice. And then I, I've already tested it and put it back together. I just wanted to pull it apart and show you guys. Once you get this all put back together, you just put it back on and bend the ends all back down, bolt it back onto the bike, and then it works because all the problem was is my contacts were dirty in there. Anyways, uh, that'll save you save you 30 bucks if you have half an hour to do the work real fast and pull it apart. All you need, like I said, is your multimeter or screwdriver and whatever it takes to get your horn off. Anyways, thanks for checking out my video guys and hopefully I'll have some more how to fix it videos coming up. Have a good one. Wanted to show you guys it all worked. Forgot to tell you that with the bad gasket, you might as well just throw that sucker away and put a little bead of silicone around the outside. But put it all on. Had to adjust a little bit. Got her done. Sounds good as new. Have a good one.